I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. It's Wednesday, May 20th, and it's an A-Day. Tomorrow is the last day of new instruction. The last moment you can turn in an on-time assignment is at 11.59 p.m. All unfinished work must be completed by 8 a.m. on Friday, May 29th. Stay strong. We've got a kudos for Mr. Young Thunder today. Here's what one of our students said. I wanted to thank Mr. Young Thunder for just really making me feel welcomed into my freshman year. He does a great job of connecting with the students on a deeper level to really make us feel like he wants to teach us. I really appreciate everything he has done for me this school year. Thank you, Mr. Young Thunder. For these last two days, we've got some advice for the seniors. We'll start with a few today and end with a big finale tomorrow. Until then, for the last time, for GM97, I'm Jenna Quackenbush. Bye, everybody. Hi, seniors. My piece of advice for you is to try something new. It's a great way to meet new people and become involved with activities that you might not have realized you really enjoy. So when you have the opportunity, try out something that you've never done before. You might really ex enjoy the experience and make a lot of new friends in the process. So best of luck class of 2020 and have a great summer. My advice to seniors this year is that I want you to be brave. Our world is calling you to be brave in so many ways. I want you to be brave in order to keep dreaming, even now, especially now. You are allowed to become whatever you want to be. It will be harder to achieve. It may take longer. There will be lots of roadblocks and mistakes, but you will make it if you are brave. I want you to be brave to make a healthy world. Speak for the earth. Climate change is real, people and this is your future. Climate change is about where life can exist and where it can't. Be brave to make good green choices and tell others. Ask yourself, do you really need it? Be brave to live with less. Less driving around, less clothes, less fast food, less everything. I want you to be brave to think about others more than yourself. This is hard, and it really is the key to ending up happy and content with yourself and your life. We really do have a responsibility to others, whether that is our family, friends, or all those other people we don't even know. The coronavirus has shown us that millions of times over. It takes courage to cooperate and to compromise. It takes courage to make a difference. What if we fail? Well, so what? Try again. And I want you to be brave even when you are scared. If so-and-so can do it, so can I. I think of that so many times in my life. When I first took this job here at Black River Falls, or actually applied for it, I hadn't had an interview in many years, but I watched my son, who was fresh out of college, go to interview after interview, and if he could do it, then so can I. Another thing you need is grit, as Mr. Rickon says. It comes from way deep. It is a determination. It is as if you don't care, full steam ahead, but you do care and it is full steam ahead. Remember, when you're scared, but you still do it anyways, that's brave. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so today, advice for seniors, huh? Uh, so one, I guess you know, some of you guys don't come from the best of circumstances. Some of you guys may not have had all the opportunity as some of your classmates. Uh, and for those of you guys, I would say, uh, don't be afraid of success. You know, give it a shot, give it a try and do the best you can and reap all the uh, rewards you can. 
Uh, some of you guys have been perfectionists for quite some time, and for you guys, fail sometimes. It's okay. Give it a try. Do your best and learn from your mistakes. And I guess in general, just think about your actions and the consequences that follow. Hopefully, you're making choices that have a positive impact on not only yourself but your family and your community as well. Uh, so. Good luck, class of 2020. Uh, we'll see you all at some point, I am sure. All right, take it easy, everybody.